Well, in some ways it has been already. Because if you think about it, the intergovernmental process, which was driven largely by concerns of war and peace, you know, at the end of the day, it's really about this most violent of all species on the planet, which is always fighting with each other. How do you make them live in peace? And uh, I think if you look back at the history of the last 100 years, there are three sets of planetary boundaries that we have worked with, and they've come up roughly one generation apart. And first we started off with social justice. 1919, after the First World War, the Great War as it was then called, people felt that there can be no peace without justice. ILO, I think, has been, is really the champion of that, that framework. 25 years later, the United Nations and a number of other agencies, which first of all put the social justice and broadened it, applied to other uh, groups, women, uh, minorities, uh, indigenous people, etc., but also brought in development. If you have permanent inequality between countries, that cannot be a basis for peace. So we started on a development agenda as well. Another 25 years, or roughly 25 to 30 years later, we added environment. That is another. So these are, in some sense, the three limits. And we are telling people, look, you need to create a framework so that people respect. Don't do things which go against the norms of social justice. Don't do things that weaken the ability of countries, of developing countries, to, to, to prosper and to become equal in the community of nations and don't do things that overstep the environmental bar. So in some sense, that's really the framework with which we are working. The international community needs to set laws, to set, provide the norms, the guidelines, the goals, common action, but it has been framed in this way. Uh, my own view also on this thing is that if you talk about one boundary without mentioning the others, you're doing a disservice. Because another 20, 20 years after Rio, we did come up with a concept that said, Bring them together. Don't leave them in silos. And that is what sustainable development is.